Here we have verse 38 of the 13th chapter of the Gospel of John, the last verse of this chapter, concluding this conversation Jesus has been having with his disciples, in which uh, he indicates that he must go somewhere and they won't be able to follow. And of course, Peter has been protesting to some degree and wondering why he can't follow. And then he uh, has made this extraordinary commitment, of course, in which he's saying he would be willing to lay down his very life for Christ. And it brings us to this uh, rather climactic conclusion to that part of the conversation, which Jesus says, apocrinitai, from apocrinomai, I answer, it takes the dative. And in this case, it's the present. It's the third person singular, present active indicative of this deponent verb. So he answers, the subject is Jesus, Jesus answers. And then uh, tain, the feminine accusative singular article, the sukane. Suke is the word for soul or life, the accusative of this feminine noun. The soul, su, the genitive, possessive pronoun, second person. The soul of you. And then huper, preposition, taking the genitive here, which means on behalf of with the genitive. And then emu. Uh, the emphatic form of the pronoun typically used after a, par a preposition. And so, <clears throat> the soul of you on behalf of me, this is the first person genitive singular pronoun, on behalf of me or on my behalf, theses, from tithemi, I lay down, uh, usually used to place or to put is the idea, but it means I lay down when it's used in conjunction with the word suke, so the soul of you on behalf of me, do you lay down? Question mark, of course, here. Tithe me, this is the uh, future. Uh, it's the second person singular, future active indicative. Then uh, a great deal of emphasis, amen, amen. Of course, we see that multiple times in John's Gospel. Lego, first person singular, present active indicative of Lego, I say. Uh, indirect object, soy, second person, dative singular pronoun, I say to you. These two come together to give emphasis, u may. Uh, the negation, both for the indicative and non indicative, typically uses the subjunctive, which we find here, and also find here, for example. Uh, u may, elector, this is the noun, it means a male bird, commonly used to refer to a rooster, which is the sense of it here. Uh, so, not, not is the idea, the rooster or a rooster, phonese, uh, phonese is from phoneo, uh, phoneo of course is the word for a voice, to make a sound, this is the subjunctive, it's the uh, second person singular, uh, or it's the third person singular, aorist active subjunctive, the male bird uh, will not sound, and then heos, until which, is the uh, notion here. Again, these are kind of taken together until arnese. This is from arneomai. It means to deny, a word that uh, John also uses in 1 John occasionally. Until uh, deny, this is the third person, uh, sing or the second person singular, uh, aorist, uh, middle subjunctive, until you have denied me the uh, first person pronoun and the accusative until you have denied me thris, uh, which means three or three times. So, of course, this is this famous uh, statement of Jesus in which he indicates to Peter that in spite of Peter's protestations of loyalty and courage uh, before the evening is over, of course, Peter will have denied his Lord three times.